a visitor person of high strangeness. Today it's show number nine. And um, we went shopping over the past couple of shows, if you notice. Um, so we are going to take you along. And this week, I believe we're going to be an observatory where you can overlook the entire Los Angeles and um, have a bunch of little moons and everything. So um, we'll see you after a while. And today we overlook the smog and all the cars on the way right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you're mighty pretty today, Miss Ebenezer. Ah, uh, today we're going to take you to Mel Steinet. That's the one that's in all the movies, right? Yeah. All right, so here we are. Here we go. We're going to walk right along here. We're going to eat lunch here. Steak and eggs, an old fashioned jute box, and the kitchen area. Just a busy place. Well, uh, I think so. Some small, good salad. Salad. Fresh. Something salad. All right. Yeah, good stuff. Heavy, heavy food. That's what I want. I want heavy grease today. It was in the 50s. From Laverne and Shirley. All the And there's uh, Sarah lost his head. Here he is. But I forgot his name. Richie Cunningham. Mm -hmm. And here you have short ribs. Um, this is the menu. And you have smoothies. Let's see what else. Oh, wow. The $12 burger. What does that mean? Wow. And here you have a lumberjack. For $10, can you believe it? I don't know if you... I don't know if you can hear the music. But this is a... This is a song that reminds me. Yeah, yes, please. Can we also change it to a low-fat yogurt shake and chocolate? Thank, Thank you. you. And the song is over, but that is a, a song that puts me in pleasant memories. Yeah, we have some curly fries. Yeah, can I have that instead of American fries? We have curly fries? Mm -hmm. That's what I want, then. And then that'll be all. All right. And I want curly fries, too. Okay, with the mushroom, right? Yes, please. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Anyway, this is where the, this is where the stars hang out, right? Yeah. We already seen a bunch of actors. Except <laughs> get four, but we didn't pull out the camera. It's like me. But but it's but it's kind of like me. They all look like real normal people right about now. And so unless unless you really recognize them, you don't know who they are. They probably go to town with their pajama on too. One of the things about California is they make smoking available to all their customers uh, outside of the restaurant. This is a non-smoking state. And uh, of course, we have to stand in the middle of the highway, so look at, there's the highway. Just imagine if we had to stand out there and, uh, and smoke. So I think that's kind of nice about the whole thing. They are so nice, they're gonna have us put all the tables together so we get a full a full view here. And look here. It's raining. It's raining now. This is the first uh, what, what is this? It's a sampler platter. A sample. All of us to snack on the sampler platter. Yeah, yeah. Um, they had some, uh, where are they, here? They, they had some uh, really good milkshakes. Well, that's some, that's the remnant of it. Cute little glasses, too. Yeah. Hey, ladies. And here we have a homeless person in this rich neighborhood. I 
things uh, that happened to me as ever since I've been here people been bringing me stuff uh, rolls and and beautiful pies from Marie calendar and uh, we were gone today uh, we went to Mel's uh, what we just shared with you I got home there was a basket in front of the door um, that a lady made uh, she brought me a book called the quickening um, some seeds, candies, you see, and um, in a, a video here, it's the Celtic women, and so people's been really, really nice to us since we've been here. And I found Brigitte Bardot's Jaguar. I was so excited about that. Huh. Look at that license plate. Yep. All kinds of stuff I found.
this is one of the ones that I finally met in person, uh, Brooke Hawker. Did I say that right? Yeah, that's yeah. right. And uh, you're an artist? Yep, I'm an artist. Mm -hmm. Lots of kinds. So we're going to look at some of your paintings in a little bit. Yeah. And you're originally... I know where you're from. I just want you to tell oh, me. Oh, I'm from Iowa. From Iowa. Uh, and, and what possessed you to come to... California? Yeah. Uh, my sister was living here and I uh, came to visit and I did not leave. Well, I, I did leave, but I came back. Mm -hmm. so. I'm looking for your cat, China. Where is she? He's outside. Outside? Yeah, he's probably sleeping under the bushes by uh, the patio. You have a very unique story about that cat, don't you? Yeah. Can I hear it? Yeah. Please? Um, well, I actually didn't live here when they got China. China's probably 17 years old. Uh -huh. uh, my sister moved in and he wandered around the apartment complex. He belonged to a screenwriter um, who movie I can't remember what he wrote anyway but well, he was moving to Germany and China needed a home so our old roommate took in China they got a little mm -hmm. kitty door he comes a ghost and then um, then basically I moved here and fell in love with him so when my roommate moved I inherited him but he's he's kind of a special cat a lot of people in the complex know him he he goes to people's houses and watch TV with them um, a lot, he, he follows people home he, a lot of times when I come home he waits for me um, and knows when I'm coming home and follows me in. Um, yeah, so I don't know. Well, maybe we get real lucky in, in finding me before, you know, before we over with this interview. Uh, now, if you're not comfortable with that, then we, you don't have to answer that. Um, but he's been a little ill. Yeah, he has um, kitty aids, but we don't talk about it in front of him. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't know he had it when we got him, but I guess it's been on his med medical records. Uh -huh. And when his first owner told the old roommate yeah. about it, she didn't believe Kitty ex AIDS existed, so she ignored it. And then I saw it on the records. Um, but it's one of those things we don't really know what to do about. He uh -huh. doesn't do anything other than sleep. So uh -huh. did, just... did they ex uh, I didn't. That's the first time I ever heard of it. That's why I asked you about it. Yeah. Did, did they tell you uh, what you can do about it? No, there's no. pretty much nothing. Yeah, I had never it. heard of that before. No, I mean, it, you, you can prevent it if the other cat we gave it, gave a shot. Uh -huh. um, and as far as China goes, I mean, since he doesn't really do anything other than sleep in the backyard, he's not really harmful. Uh -huh. But, I mean, if he was a young cat without, like, fighting, yeah. it could be dangerous. Yeah, but so. if they can give vaccines to cats, why can't they give it to people? You ever think about that? Yeah, I don't know. No, no. I call it kitties. I mean, obviously, it can't be the same thing as it. Probably HIV. not. Yeah. But. Mm -hmm. uh, we can look at some of your paintings now. Tell me, uh, where do you get your ideas? Uh, how do you go about? Oh, okay. Yeah. Your that part. inspiration for. Yeah. Different things. I have uh, several styles I paint in. Uh -huh. One of the styles I paint in is kind of more realistic portrait one, and that I choose people that I think there's something beautiful. Uh, a lot of times I paint, I do paint from photographs that I take, and mm -hmm. then occasionally I might see a photograph that someone else has taken and I get permission to paint it. Um, that I do mainly for, I do that for myself for the feeling of all of the measuring of the really? features and stuff. Um, but when it's going well, I may spend, you know, 12 hours painting an eye. Yeah. And I kind of, I don't, I kind of feel like if I'm in the right place, it paints itself. I'm just there. Um, so I'm pretty particular about when I paint. I have to be in the right mood. Then I paint um, abstract, colorful abstract things, yeah. and that comes out of feelings that I have. Um, I, I will see, I'll see colors, that, and I'll see shapes, and then I, I won't paint them exactly how I see them, but that's how those start. Um, and then, there, then there's a style somewhere in between the realistic and the abstract that's mm -hmm. sometimes cityscapes and stuff like that if I you know see mm -hmm. places I make sketches yeah. a lot of times in public and then I turn those into so those are the main three yeah. ways that I so so, so is uh, Los Angeles a, a good place for painters you think I, I think there's a there's a there's a lot of opportunities here mm -hmm. for paintings to be mm -hmm. to be shown I think there's a lot going on as far as to inspire paintings although there's more inspiration that I necessarily have that I take the time to uh -huh. do because I kind of feel pulled like I'm doing a lot of different things and I'm not focusing on painting yeah. all the time so I'm not painting every day yeah everybody went somewhere a while ago and I was down there thinking 
Um, we've been here several days and everywhere we went, uh, it's artistic, um, it's very expensive and everything. And I have not uh, seen the Los Angeles that's portrayed on television. Do you have any thought on that? On the one that's portrayed on television? Yeah. I don't, I guess, I think whatever illusion is portrayed on television is an illusion. I mean, it looks glamorous because it's on a little screen, but I don't think this is as glamorous of a place as people think it is. Well, yeah, I, I've, yeah, that part too, but but also the, uh, like the, the misery where people just walk around and have nothing to do. I haven't seen that. Oh, people have nothing to. Yeah, I think it's a pretty busy place. It's a very busy place. Yeah, it's a very busy. It's a very busy place. place yeah, and I know the cost of living is very high here. Yeah, it is. Uh, and, and people find ways to work on that. Yeah, I mean we're on rent control. We're on like twelve years of rent control, so we have a large place, although it doesn't have um, carpets haven't been cleaned in a really long time. We do, we yeah. put up with the things yeah. that they that don't get done, but there's a, a huge, huge controversy in the city right now. There's an epidemic of, of apartments going condo and we're dealing with that right, right now. Right, yeah. So, yeah, a lot of a lot of affordable housing is going away and the vacancy yeah. rate is not so high. Okay, this is affordable housing. Affordable uh, housing. But I happen to know how much rent you pay. Would you mind telling me? No, how much, I know I pay less. Oh, you pay less. Oh, I pay less. You could then. We're, but, I think we're like 13, Two bedroom, thirteen. Thirteen. Ah, thirteen something. The average person here pays eighteen. Yeah, the other the other place people yeah. pay eighteen. So so you it just when you when you look at the cost of living, uh, eighteen hundred dollars. You know, let's just say it's the regular. That's yeah. a large amount of money. It is, rent. but then you you have to look at the, the. Well, not always. I guess it depends if the what people are doing for a living. The, yeah. the minimum wage, I think, is higher, but I, you can't take a minimum wage job here and live. And live here, no. I mean, you can't even take, where I'm from, I remember thinking, yeah, $10 an hour is good, or 12 good, or, yeah. even yeah. 15 is kind of like, eh, that's not really even, you know. Yeah, you can't do but it. But 10 is way too low, and yeah. in other places, that's a lot. Yeah. So. Yeah, so, I'm, let's, uh, we'll get, after talking to you some more, let's, uh, if you'd be nice enough, we'll uh, show some of your pictures now. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is this is when you paint off of a photo you saw? Yeah, those are my friends. They live in Poland. Uh -huh. That's Natalia and her boyfriend Merrick, and I took that photo of them when I was visiting them. And uh, she's just probably she's she's an amazing, beautiful person. So mm -hmm. I I wanted to paint her. Okay. Yes, off center. So we'll go off center too. All right. So wow. Well, anyway, but this is this is uh, I love art like that with many many colors. Your paintings? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. What did you name this one? This one doesn't have a very exciting title. This one's just sail Sailboat. The oh, last wow. one you were looking at was uh, Redbird Death. Wow. I'm assuming it's a flower, right? Mm hmm. No? It's a bald woman. Oh, hang on. The rest of it is abstract. Oh, okay. I see it. I don't know if I remember the title of that one. Oh. Uh, this is beautiful. That's... You pick Baltic um, um, Eastern European themes, um, don't you? Yeah, kind of fascinated up with things from around the, beautiful. From around the world. Beautiful. That one is an image I actually got permission to paint. It was, uh -huh. it was from the newspaper. I had to write to the... write and get permission. Uh -huh. It was an Afghani woman. Going even further, we're going to the Orient. This is beautiful, bro. That's a woman I, I saw in Japan in the district of Harajuku. She let me take uh -huh. her photo. Wonderful. Now, if any of you are interested in, you know, purchasing some of these, um, call the show and we will give you all the information. Unless you have a card, I can put it on there now. I can give you a card. It'll be good. So somewhere along here, we're going to give you a card. Just beautiful work. My. French flavor to it. Wow. Oh my. I got it. I got it. The beautiful. Oh man. <coughs> Do you? Is 
Isn't it amazing how we just know these things? Huh? How we use Let's use the same colors. But I rearrange them in the next one. And I couldn't paint anymore. I couldn't uh, I couldn't detail it, you know. I got quiet. So it's amazing when it comes. Wow. Now here's all of Brooke's info. In case you're interested in anything she does, call the show and uh, we can. Well, actually, the phone number is on there. I'll go a little closer for you here. Ow! Got it. Yeah. This one we laid out on the floor for you. Can you say it's a recent one? Is that what? Yeah, this one's. Recent? Well, this is about a year. Yeah. Uh huh. Wow. This, this one? Are you ready? Uh huh. Yeah, I'm ready. We're just gonna do the whole thing like you do. This one's pretty that. recent. Wow. And although this one took it's a total of two years because there's um, many, many layers. Originally the painting was painted this other direction, uh -huh. but I ended up painting over it so it's really thick because I started it two years ago and I just finished it. Uh -huh. so, so what you're saying, you can actually start something and then go back to it? Oh, yeah. It, isn't it hard to get back into the same? No, it's a totally different painting. I painted over it. When originally, when I first painted it, when it was facing this way, it was all purple and blue. Uh -huh. And then I didn't. And then it turned into a woman. This used to be a woman um, holding her child, uh -huh. and then it got all like distorted. And now I think it looks like a pregnant woman. Right there's a pregnant woman. And this one. Horses. Oh yeah, I see him. Just a minute, I want to take a. That's okay, here. Yeah. Got it. All right. Okay, this one is. S U. This one has, has, was, has several layers too, and probably was over the course of another couple of years. I just finished it. Because I don't like. If I, don't, if I paint something and I don't like it, then I just put it away, and then when I want canvas, I paint over it. Uh huh. Now tell me when. Does your color change with your mood? Yeah, totally. Color yeah. always moves. <gasps> wow. This one's out of my head. This is pretty recent too. Well, that's 06. So that's the end of 06. Oh, this one isn't finished. I'm working on it. Two are finished. Yeah, this one's not finished. This one's got sailboats under it. Uh huh. So I'm still working on it. But I already built the frame for it. So yeah, and there's one on the canvas there on the, that's in the works. This is the one in the works. You know, I mean, I'm always complaining where I live that everything is so bad, the sounds and the weather. And everything, and since I've been here, I had so many allergies. I'm glad to go home. I'm in this China. Yeah. Come on. Come on. <gasps> you, you pretty much, uh, you're still a very young person. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much, okay. So, uh, do you have any ideas on the world affairs? On the world affairs? Mm -hmm. I honestly, I am definitely someone that tries to pay as little po as possible, pay attention as little as possible to what's going mm -hmm. on. And that's mainly because I get really, really affected by things. Mm -hmm. I have, I have, if I read the newspaper, I have nightmares. If I watch the news, I have nightmares. So I try not to, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's, it's enough. And maybe that's maybe that's wrong and it's bad, but mm -hmm. you know just to pay the bills and work. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm doing a lot of different things.
things mm -hmm. too, and um, kind of all, all over the place. So, yeah, I really don't watch and watch what's going on. Okay, so now I'm going to put you in charge of the world. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do? I was in charge of the world. But you are. I just put you there. So what are you gonna I do? Am? Huh? Hmm. If I was in charge of the world, hmm. I, I maybe I have like a staff meeting. Cool. Get some, you know, with all the people that are like in charge of different parts of the world. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe do some team bonding activities. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe. You know, hug. <laughs> cool. No, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they got on me about always asking that, and uh, so they said, "What would you do?" And I told them I was going to give everybody backache for five minutes, I like straight across the board. So, because people that don't have aches and pains, they just don't seem to be compassionate. Yeah. And understanding of people that do have issues. It's hard because. There's so just there's so many perspectives. Yeah. I mean, there's as many perspectives as our people. So yeah. I don't think I have the from my one perspective. I don't have the perspective to know. Where do you see yourself five years from now? Uh, maybe I could see out. I'm thinking though. Hmm. I have, may I might have kids then. Yeah. I can see having kids. Yeah. Don't, uh, as far as career-wise, I can't really, I really have, I can't think that far ahead. You're living it now. Yeah, I just, I don't but, think that far ahead. Yeah. I used to when I was younger. I always planned at the age of 28, and once I hit 28, stop. You're playing. kidding. What? I didn't think you was 28. I'm 29. You're talking about in the past. Oh my! <laughs> wow. Yeah, so I don't, I don't, I don't, uh, I can't even remember what I did earlier today. Let alone what I'm gonna do. Yeah. You know, so we'll see. So anyway, uh, you fed me last night, so I thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. And uh, took up enough of your time. Your laundry is ready, I'm sure. Well, it's gotta go to the dryer. Yeah. <laughs> well, but you have to take it from the washing machine to the dryer. Yeah. yeah. It'll be right behind you, because I'm doing laundry today too. Oh. Yeah, you only have one laundry room, one. There's huh? three. Oh, but the other ones are way too far away. Yeah. Okay. So I thank you so very, very much, uh, and I'm sure everybody will enjoy your beautiful work. Thank you, Brooke. Thank you. Yeah, bye. Bye, people. Uh, yeah, bye. Uh. Hey guys, it's the middle of the show. I hope you guys enjoyed Mel's drive and the paintings and the interview. Later on, we'll show you more around the town. Okay. So go guys, I don't know what that means. Thank you, Julie. Right now. They got a girl in here. Alright, here we are. Supposedly in the ghetto. Hmm. Very interesting. Doesn't look like ghetto to me, but what do I know? Keys well, it's actually it's the industrial district. But didn't you see those women down the for the ghetto, you'll see. Unfortunately, I missed it. There was a homeless lady uh, with a, a super-sized shopping cart that held quite a bit, and she was pulling it behind her. Country General Store. Uh, we're going to the to the five dollar store. That's where we're going. On where nice Avenue. 99 cents to a restaurant site available. We are cute bargain. We hey, we bought the most brilliant potatoes in the 99 cent store. Just so you know, they were so good. They made perfect potato salad. And if I had. $50 and a new, another trunk, I would buy $50 worth and take it home. Where are you?
This kind of goes along with the conversation I had with Brooke, uh, with, we had with Brooke last night about how you go from such riches to, uh, uh, you know, the paradox and how people maneuver these things. So like there's two pieces we can So we're going to flip around and go here. And then the only bar... Oh, God. Round and around we went. Okay. Uh, we don't have to pay. We have a sticker. We do. No, we don't. They should. Absolutely. Uh, the shop that we add is at the 6500 block at Van Nuys Boulevard. It's called Sea Hand and then I'm lost. We'll try that one. They have every kind of clothes you can think of. Um, you can get little 99 outfits where they give you three for $10. The color is absolutely smashing. So take a look here. I'm gonna show you right down the aisle. Just beautiful, different designs. Belts, beautiful dresses for young ladies. Really, really pretty. Elegance of this. It's, it's enormous for that price. Jeans for five dollars. That's incredible. Pretty incredible, actually. And that's kind of what you can find here. For every family member in your house, another pair of jeans. It's fully equipped with uh, dressing rooms. homeless person living right across the street in front of Bank America. Yeah, Bank America. Immediately next door to this is a men's shop where um, you get all the things for the men. We came in here to buy some things for Malcolm. And, uh, and the rest of our boys, caps, beautiful shirts. And so even though next door we had more for the ladies, so tell your husband, let's go to town, take your checkbook, and we're going shopping. Okay. We have got beautiful sterling silver earrings. Almost everything taken care of. Beautiful sunglasses. Shirts. It's anything you need for your hubby. Or your sweetie. Same street. Wanna feel like a princess? Is this the place to come? getting ready to go somewhere. They give you a general idea of what they have and what they look like and that type of thing. As you saw, we went to the $5 stores and this is what we got. Um, you got yourself some earrings. But they were only $1. They were $1. Hang on here. Only $1. Yeah. Good buy. And then, let's see, you got some pants? A pair of pants for $5. Yes. They, they stretch. They do stretch. Yeah. Um, let's see, we got mom's and glasses. My, are they pretty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then my mom got a shirt. Pull it back up here. Take California. It says California. Um, David? Yeah? 
Mm-hmm. Beverly Hills. Let me take a picture. Oh, it's so cool. Yes. It was, we bought that at the men's shop. It was yeah, a men's, men's specialty shop. And then Malcolm. For Malcolm. Mm-hmm. Um, this is Los Angeles. Yeah. City, LA, California. Let's see here. For Connor. This was for Connor. Yeah. At the man's shop? No. No? No, this was at um, the last five dollar store. Oh, the last five dollar store. Um, yeah. We got this snazzy thing for Destiny. It's a tube top. Yes. Beautiful. Um, we got uh, this for Tamala. I think I like that one really, really well. Yeah. They they had they had some with um, cream catchers and little beads on, but I was worried the beads was gonna fall off in the heat. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's. This was Havania. Havania, and it says I can't see. Mad Rose. Mad Rose. 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 Oh. Mm -hmm. It's pretty colored too. Um, you got yourself some pit stripe stretchable pants. I did. They stretch too? They do stretch. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they're not shrinking. Hmm? <coughs> they're not straight, uh, shrinking. And if they are, you'll set them right back to where they were. And you got some pajamas. Pajamas. Now, chances are you're going to see me wear those from water. Because they don't really look like pajamas. Are they so cute, huh? They are. Mm hmm Absolutely. And they they, they don't have long legs. They, what do you call them? Caprice. Like a, caprice. Mm hmm And that's all we got. That's it. Yeah. Second day, Ebony's in the hospital. Welcome to the world. <laughs> yeah, I'm you feeling much better today. Um, I called the Chinese food place. This is where we ate. Don't eat there. Uh, I'm waiting for the insurance company to call me. I have all my medical papers and everything, besides my hospital bill. So I'm waiting for the insurance to come. I'll call me so they can pay for everything. And hopefully it's pain and suffering, because I was suffering really bad. Yeah. Yep. You looked real dead there for a minute. <laughs> I felt real dead there. <laughs> yeah. So well, welcome back to the world, sweetie. Thank you. Yeah. I actually found my car. Here it is. Uh, it's only about a three block walk for me to get in it. So you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave it there. Just a mini mark. We went to this a nice gentleman from India. We figured, well, I had picked him for a healer, and he was. So I asked him to help Ebony with some stones. In the meantime, she went back to the hospital, but we tried everything. I went to the neighborhood grocery store, said, please help Ebony. <laughs> Try to help me with Ebony. This is an excellent name for a heating and electric place. Department. Warner Brothers is located here. The, the cartoon department. The Cheesecake Factory. Oh, it's actually pretty. There's a waterfall. Let me snap that for you real quick. doing some street cutting.
This is Gosta 101 to Ventura in Los Angeles. So we are headed to Ballet the back way. This is um, another piece of Sherman Oaks. We are about to enter the nice, uh, expensive area where we have not gone before. So this is a new experience for both of us. As we make a left turn, you see the nice house to um, my right. See, nice expensive homes, nice flowers. That's beautiful. Um, even though these houses look small, they are really expensive. Um, really, really expensive. Um, a couple million, maybe. You know. Just because it's in California, near Hollywood, and these houses are just amazing. The experience you can get if you come this way. The houses are beautiful. Beautiful colors. It's just huge houses. Beautiful flowers. It's very colorful here. Very colorful. So we are about to enter Stone Canyon. Um, as Tina, whew, these roads are so bumpy. If you don't pay attention, you know, um, a lot of people can get hot here. But Stone Canyon overlooks all of Sherman Oaks and um, a lot of LA. And at nighttime, there's and a lookout at, scene. Exposed. And at nighttime, there's a lookout scene here. Uh, so that you can see the lights from the city. And um, it's very beautiful. We haven't been here at night. Um, if you go way up here, there's tons of houses. A lot of stars that haven't hit it big yet buy these houses up here because they're a couple million and they show wealth. But um, as you can see, this nice car here, uh, you know, uh, this is where people try to live because it's a nice, quiet neighborhood, you know? But it's beautiful. So Stone Canyon overlooks many of um, LA. Okay, we, we turn on what color can make So this is Stone Canyon. Um, as you can see, um, this is our canyon here. It's very beautiful. These nice cars coming back. This is the back road to Bel Air. We're taking, and um, it's oh, we have to stop here. But um, on the way back, we're going to show you uh, where you can overlook everything because I can see it now, and it's beautiful. It'll take your breath away. Only look. So I'm not going fast. I'm only doing 30. Because I don't fly. Well, I do fly through, and, but I'm not oh, with you guys. Wow! Look at the flowers here. Oh, yeah. Go to the You can see it or not, but much of LA is down there. And if you notice, the houses are like stacked on top of each other from the um, on the hillside. And if there was an earthquake or a mudslide, um, they'd all fall down and wipe everything out. But other than that, they're beautiful. <laughs> Um, you can see much of the pollution over LA here, uh, and much of the city, and um, it's really polluted, but it's beautiful. She just dealt with that, so she's good. So, get this right here. So, structured house. This is an odd structured house here. Um, I'm gonna try to snap you a picture, right? The glare is kind of bad, but it's, um, we're rolling into, uh, Beverly Hills? Bel Air. Bel Air area. And it's, the road's really crazy here. Um, I'm just imagining all those stars I get, uh, popped with DUIs come flying through here. And it's, the road's uneven and everything, but it's amazing they don't kill somebody. See, speaking of 
it's funny around here, but they just fly. Um, we're still trying to find Bel Air here. Oh, we're not trying to find it. We're not there yet. Um, but they have some pretty nice houses here. The road's really curvy um, and windy, though, and it's really thin, as you can see, especially with the cars parked on the sides. Um, there's hardly no driveways here. As you can see, it's just like enough room for one car to get in and out. And this road is really, really busy. It's it's beautiful. It's a beautiful drive. Yeah, it's a beautiful drive. Look at this staircase here. It's, that is beautiful. There's some interesting architecture. Very interesting architecture. to enter um, the Bear Lair area and so um, you get to see what that looks like which is really exciting really posh, the cheapest house there's um, I heard the cheapest uh, house in Bel Air is 20 uh, million dollars I almost said 20,000 20 million uh, the security uh, for obvious reasons, you know. Um, it's going to take us about 10 minutes to get to our destination now because we're going way up into the heart of Bel Air. Oh, here's the lollipop trees. They line the road here going up. Oh, there's a nice house back there. We're trying not to film a lot of Bel Air because of uh, privacy reasons, so that's why you can't see a lot. That's only the middle part of this house. Little mansion on top of the hill. This is the start of Phillips Drive. That was Adam Sandler's house. This is all his life. In this hole is the biggest bee I have ever seen. Maybe it'll come. Now here we are in Sherman Oaks. Uh, I'm sorry, we are in Bel Air. <coughs> and when we talk about the forest fires, when we talk about the forest fires and the ravines, um, we as Washingtonians can't comprehend that. But look how deep this is. So it wouldn't take anything to jump from here to just this little ravine and then come over here. And here again, it is just so deep. Some mushrooms. Now I was told that all the mountain sites here have uh, sprinkler systems. And then this is Los Angeles here. In the back, I'll pull it in for you as much as much excuse me as much as I can. It's so polluted. Oh no, let's try this one. Let's try that. There would be Los Angeles down there. Yeah. Oh, pardon, friend. Beautiful colors and flowers. Looks like we're going to almost have to continue this next week because we're almost at the end of the show here. 
Now we are next to Adam Sandler's house. There's many rooftops here. Of course, we don't know who lives there. Give you a little roundabout. More beautiful flowers. Look at the colors. A little walk about here. So you all the rooftops. This is the reservoir that Los uh, the reservoir that Los Angeles draws the water from. Here's another home. Then let's see, there was one way up in the hills. Way up on the top there. We're gonna continue our journey next week. It's the end of the show. Um, hope to see you next week. Yeah. In the show number nine. Yeah.